starting off this vlog with a Costco haul. Christian and I just got back from Costco to restock a lot of our frozen meats and things that we get from Costco. So I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything we got. Starting over here, dryer sheets, scent beads, dishwasher pods, washing machine pods. We got a bunch of eggs. We go through eggs really quickly. Best price for eggs. It did go up in price, but still really good. Got two bags of the Tattooed Chef rice cauliflower stir fry. We're trying this out, Japanese style fried rice chicken. Thought it'd be really easy to keep in the freezer, kind of like a Trader Joe's meal. Best cauliflower crust pizza ever. This is such a good lunch for like the weekend or anything. Quick lunch, really easy and really yummy. We got some sweet Italian sausage for sheet pan recipes, things like that. Uh, ground beef, ground turkey. This is so good, this sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. You get two of those. Got some almond flour crackers in the farmhouse cheddar. I saw these little immunity shots. Ginger, cayenne, and watermelon strawberry. Came in a pack of 10. Got some chomps. These are a great snack, high in protein. Really love these. These looked really good. Roasted garlic and herb seasoned almonds. I'm always looking for snacks to bring to work that are also pretty healthy because I feel like I just can snack on things throughout the day. So I thought this would be a good healthy snack to bring with me to work as well. Sponges, got a huge thing of sponges. We needed more salt. Got some sweet potato fries, paper towels, and also toilet paper. And then here's the star of the show. I ordered Poppy off Amazon and got it a variety pack because they didn't sell this in a 12 pack by itself, but I love all of the flavors. Actually, these are my favorite flavors. It's the cherry limeade, ginger lime, and then the dog pop. I think the dog pop is my absolute favorite poppy flavor, but they're all just incredible. I wanted to try this new poppy flavor, the cranberry fizz. And the only thing that it came in was a 12 pack variety pack off Amazon. That's the only only way I could find it. I've looked in Targets and Publix as well and they don't have them. So I think the only way to get this flavor is by ordering the variety pack off Amazon. So I can link it down below if it's still available. I really want them to get the 12 pack of this back in stock, but I haven't even tried it. I just love the can. So hopefully it tastes good, but if it doesn't, it only comes with three and then the other flavors are really good. So I'm really excited. I'll maybe taste test it on camera. But this is the Costco haul. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna go to Publix today and get our groceries for the week. I mean, as you can see from Costco, we mainly get just bulk items so I don't buy produce or anything like that from Costco because it all comes in really large quantities as you can see. So I'm gonna go to Publix and get the rest of our groceries for the week today so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Okay, just got home from Publix. I also went to Target and picked up a few things. So I got a candle, I got a vase, and some dish towels. I always put like a big candle in the Center Island area. And I'll probably decorate for Christmas next weekend, which is the second weekend of November. We'll put this out next weekend. I also need to dispose of that stuff. I took down some of the boxes before I went to the grocery store, but I need to take down that stuff. But I can link this candle. It smells really, really good. And it's big and it's this green color. So I saw this on TikTok. I'm gonna make a little afternoon drink it's kind of like a mimosa but mocktail version so i'm going to use the natalie's orange juice and the mountain valley sparkling water and i'm going to sip on that for a little bit and probably be really yummy it just tastes like a mimosa but without the alcohol and this orange juice is my favorite maybe i'll add a little bit more orange juice It's so refreshing. 
Wow, it's so refreshing. Okay, it's later. I'm about to start cooking dinner. I'm doing chicken tortilla soup in my Le Creuset Dutch oven, which I love. I'm so excited to cook in it. I will link the recipe that I'm using down below. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know how it is after. But we're about to open up a bottle of champagne. My sister actually got this bottle of champagne for us for our engagement. She surprised us with it. I don't know exactly who did it, but they did such a good job. I almost want to keep the bottle after we open it, but we're celebrating because we booked a venue and a date for our wedding. So I thought that was a great call for a celebration and also to open this specific bottle. So I'm so excited. We have a date and a venue and now it feels really real. I'm going to film a Q&A tomorrow. I don't even know if anyone cares about the Q&A, but if I film the Q&A, it will be up probably before this video. But we're shooting for March 2025 because weather in Florida is really great then. It's a little over 16 months away and this gives us plenty of time to take the wedding planning process really slow and save and just enjoy this i guess season of life a little bit more so march 2025 it's gonna be we're not doing a destination wedding or anything but i'm not gonna share the venue until probably the day of so it's just gonna be a surprise but we toured the wedding venue it's actually our only wedding venue that we toured <laughs> I knew I wanted to have the wedding there before and I showed Christian obviously before we toured it and he loves it just as much as I do. So we're both really excited. It's our dream wedding venue and I can't wait to get married there and I can't wait to share the place with you guys and just document this whole process. It's going to be so fun. So we're opening the bottle, we're cheersing, we're celebrating to having a wedding date and a venue and I'm so excited. So we're gonna open this and cook chicken tortilla soup. Yeah, just wanted to share. We did it officially book today, but we officially signed everything on Tuesday. So we wanted to wait until the weekend to celebrate and open the bottle of champagne. So I'm so excited. I needed to film my long overdue Q&A, which I think will be up before this video. So go check it out if you're interested. I answered a lot of just wedding questions. I explained how I knew that the engagement was coming and that story and just like answered some other questions. So I will link that video down below if you're interested in seeing that. I am waiting for my Target pickup order as well. Candles were 30% off today, so I ordered some candles and I ordered some other stuff, but I'll show you guys when I get home because I like placed an order last night and then while I was sitting here for a second, I just placed another one. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my Target pickup order to be done and then I'll head back home, do the rest of my laundry and I'll do a Target haul for you guys. But yeah, that's what I was doing. I was just filming my Q&A. <laughs> so if you have any other questions though that um, I didn't answer in the video or want to know anything else, you can leave them down below and I will answer any questions that you have. Okay, here's my little Target haul. I picked up a couple of things. Candles were 30% off today, so I don't know how long it's going on for. So I got a couple candles. So I got these candle stick stands with the fragrance free candles. Packet 12. 
I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet. Maybe on the TV stand. I got a little forest fir candle. These are $5. I got a bigger one to put in the bathroom. And then I got the cashmere and vanilla one. And then I thought these were so cute. They're $3, so I'll link them down below. I'd probably hand wash them to help the longevity of the design on them, but so cute. So Christmas tree and then this festive one too. So I got two of each, $3. I'll link them if they're still available. I thought they were so cute. I think I'm gonna quickly hand wash these and my other holiday cups, pull them out of the cabinet and swap out some cups for my holiday ones. I'll probably wait to do all of the Christmas decor for next weekend, but the holiday cups, I think I'm going to bring out. holiday cups and mugs out on the first shelf of all of my glassware and I can walk you guys through where everything's from these cups I got last year from anthropology I think they have the same cups but maybe a different style I feel like there's white all over the glass and it's not clear but there's a snowman there's a gingerbread Christmas tree and then a candy cane these are the cups that I just got today from Target. I will also try and link what I can down below. These I got last year. It's kind of hard to tell what they are, but they're snowman glasses. You can kind of tell that way. These I got last year at Target. I know that they don't have these anymore, but they have really similar ones this year. And then here are the Starbucks holiday cups. This is from, I think, a couple years ago. And then this is from, I think, like three or four years ago. And then this is the one that was in the back. I got this from Anthropology. It has a little Christmas tree in the center of the glass. You can tell. Those are all my fun holiday cups. Also, these I saw, I can't remember who it was last year, but someone that I follow on Instagram, she posted her cup shattered. And she said that if you pour hot beverages into it immediately, it will break or shatter. So that's crazy. I usually pour my espresso or coffee over ice, but I will not be pouring hot beverages into this because these are, they obviously don't make them anymore. So if you do get the new ones, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same material, but be careful with hot liquids. I always pour my espresso into milk when it's already in there. So I'm extra careful with those. These are probably the same, honestly, even more fragile because they are $3 but these are all my holiday beverages. They make the holidays so much more fun. I'm such a cup person. I spent the day changing out the cups in the cabinet to Christmas themes. I saw I don't know what that means. Find out, it's like maybe a green pepper or like a... Uh. Okay, we just got home from dinner. We went to John and John's for pizza with Maya. I look, my nose looks pink in person, but I guess it doesn't look that pink on camera. We sat outside and it got increasingly colder outside and I'm like shivering. I can't wait to get in the shower and get into bed. Wash the bed sheets today, so there's nothing better than getting into fresh clean bed sheets on a Sunday night before you start another week up. But dinner was really good. We talked outside with Maya for like two hours and it was really nice catching up. And we were planning Friendsgiving. I think we're doing Friendsgiving in two weeks together. We did it last year and I cooked a turkey for the first time. 
and which was fun. But I think we're gonna do a Friendsgiving in a couple of weeks, which is something that's so exciting to look forward to. So you can also see, sorry about that. Those are clothes that I'm gonna be donating. But um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and end off this video here. I'm gonna get in the shower and get ready for bed. Hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life vlog. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.